Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Bullion Now. BullionNow.com.au, your best place to buy bullion bars and coins shipped to you worldwide from Melbourne in Australia. <laughs> Except that sign says something else. Why is that? Because we're doing another one of the stolen little coin shop boxes. We, we get their deliveries <laughs> before they go out to the dispatch center, we and do. so we're going to. Uh, yeah, we're going to unbox it and show it all to you lovely people. We are, and I'm actually a bit excited about this one because it's not that it wasn't meant to get out from Perth Mint, it's that um, Perth Mint have stopped making these uh, very, very, very early because they've had a problem with the, you'll see what I mean in a minute, but with the beads in them. So they're actually very, very hard to get hold of, and I was actually very excited when these turned up. So. Don't tell LCS I'm opening their box before they know it's here. <laughs> so disappear very quickly once we once we do. Yes. So um, yeah, you pretty much can't get these anywhere because they've produced very few of them um, before they shut down the production of them. Now I'm sure eventually they will sort out their bead issue um, and they will get production going again. But for now, you can't get them anywhere. So I'm absolutely stoked to see these. There we go, nice few in there of the, uh, yeah. the box of them. Get that out the way. Um, and we've got a nice few in too. Alright, let's get one out. So these are the rotating Year of the Tiger coins. So, love their packaging. Yeah. Yeah, the black and the red really uh, pops off a little bit there. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not too sure about the expression on his face, <laughs> but the others look quite good. Yes. Anyway, let's have a look what's inside. And I will actually get a glove on. Now, sometimes we get comments about the opaqueness of the um, of the perspex on these things. Yep. What you've got to realise is they've actually got a a sticker on them. Um, so film. yeah, so like your um, pull that out from there. Like on your when you buy a new mobile phone and it's got the whoosh on it, you know, the piece of plastic you pull off. These have got the same protective plastic, so it's actually clear perspex. It just looks a bit murky because of the um, keeps it safe for unboxings. Yes, it does. All right, so that's the first cover off, and then this is just a standard um, certificate of authenticity. People will so have a look at what what gets in there with the technicalities in there, and it'll also have a number on the back which we won't advertise. All right, and it's got a little cover over it, and then you've got the coin itself. Doesn't even need to be rotated. Facing no. around the right way. I actually got it around the right <laughs> way. Although I think this one flips that away. Okay. So it would be hard to get it around the wrong way, I suppose, this time. So they are a, I believe they're a one ounce. Yes, they are. They're a one ounce antique silver coin. Now, Matt does tell me, and he said a few times on the videos, that because it's antique, it is actually designed to be held, but yeah. we, we like to play it careful with, with gloves. We like to play it careful with gloves just to make sure. We do. Um, um, but they, it's a, it's a, the design that they've got in the antiquing, yes. we're going to get to the bead in a minute, but the design they've got in the antiquing is absolutely beautiful. The tiger's running back on themselves. And because of the, the big hole in the middle, you can't just have a standard queen's head on the other side no, either. that's right. So you have... A little queen's head on the side, um, so it's Queen Lizzie, and then... And a stripy tiger. Yeah. <laughs> so the bead actually does rotate within there, so you can see his little the, tail the, on The there. paws are kind of cute, I don't know if you can see those in there. Yeah, they are. The one thing, opening it up, and Ruben and I were actually, we, I cheated and looked at the pictures before I opened it. Um, I have to say, Perth Mint, the bead, which is 24 karat plated gold, so it's plated gold, it's not pure gold, um, it looks more like a rotating wombat than a rotating tiger. <laughs> so, but having said that, I mean, you're putting it on a beat. I've got to give them a break on that one. It's, it's a bit hard. And it has to fit into a very certain size, otherwise the thing's not going to rotate. <laughs> it does. But um, I think it's more, I don't know, people leave comments below as to what you think it looks like, but I think it looks like a rotating wombat. I actually, I, I, when I saw the picture of it, I thought, that's terrible. How are we going to look like we think that's wonderful? I actually really like it, but it's not a tiger. <laughs> it's a rotating wombat. <laughs> but you can, even if you, you have that opinion about the bead itself, you can still look at the, the actual coin itself yeah. and look at that, that design around the antique and try and get some close-up show in there and some B-roll or something like that. But yeah, you can, you can really make out the, the design there and it looks quite lovely. I actually really like it. I didn't think I would. I really like this. That's really cool. 
Um, they're very limited numbers, so they're only going to make a maximum of 3,000 of them. Assuming they sort out the, uh, the manufacturing <laughs> issue. That's what I was going to get to next. That is assuming that. So this may be the only batch that Little Coin Shop gets in. Um, they may be able to get more in if they sort out this bead issue. Uh, we don't know at this stage. So um, if you want them, if you want one, um, absolutely grab them while you can. I seem to say that so often. Um, it's not actually a marketing ploy. Um, but it keeps happening, so yeah, you know, right. it keeps saying um, while it still applies. Yeah, so um, grab them while you can. Even if they do produce them, um, the rest of the series or the rest of this uh, production run, it is limited to 3,000. And I know going by the mouse and the ox, they don't last very long. So particularly being a tiger or a rotating wombat, grab it while you can because they won't last long. Um, and I'm not sure, oh, there'll be a link down below for the uh, little coin shop website where you can actually buy them if you wish. Um, assuming they're still for sale by the time you see this. Anything else we should talk about, Rubes? Oh, well, just, just that one, ones like this are always interesting. You know, it's, it's something a little bit more than just a, a standard coin. I mean, you know, mm. they do some beautiful designs, but you know, it's just a, a coin or something like this. It's got a bit of movement, got that kinetic, uh, <laughs> kinetic yeah, uh, element to it. Um, and yeah, you know, it's the kind of thing you can pull out and uh, with some gloves um, and, and move around a little bit and actually enjoy physically yeah. in your hands. So it's, it's, it's quite cool. And, oh. you know, we see that with the, you know, the hourglass and the, the abacus and ones like that. Normally very popular for that yeah. reason. Yeah, no, they were. And they still are. All right. Like, share, subscribe, all the good things. And um, I think, unless Ruben's going to tell me otherwise, that's it from me. And also from me. All right. We'll see you again soon. Yeah.